Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equations and tables. This is standard 6.6b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have Gabrielle and her mother born on the same day of the year. So we have this relationship between Gabriella's age and her mother's age, right? Just so we don't have any half years or anything. So literally same birthday, different years. So we need to find the relationship here between G and M, right? Now, we could use a little bit of reasoning to say that they're always going to stay the same, you know, number of years apart, right? So her mother was blank years old when she had her, and then every year she's going to be that much older than her daughter. So that makes sense, right? But take a look. We do have one of these answer selections is none of these. So we need to figure it out for ourselves because maybe it's not any of these. So let's take a look at how we're using this table here, okay? So G, when Gabrielle was three, mother was 30, right? So typically we'll go from left to right. So how do we get from 3 to 30, right? Well, there's two different ways. We could add, or we can multiply. I don't think we're going to multiply, but, you know, let's try, right? So 3 plus, right, that's 27 equals 30, right? So maybe her mother was 27 years old when she had her. Uh, and then we've got 3 times 10 would work. But see, that, that multiplication is not really going to work because then it's going to get much bigger and much bigger, right? So let's try this plus 27 here. So 5 plus 27, does that make 32? Yes. Times 10? No, because 5 times 10 makes 50, not 32. Yeah, that multiplication wouldn't work because the distance between them would just get larger and larger and larger. That's not going to make so much sense when we're dealing with how the difference between people's age, because they all age at the same rate. Okay, so let's check this plus 27. So 9 plus 27, does that equal 36? Yes. And then 10 plus 27, that's easy. That is a 37. Okay, so it looks like we've got a, um, a plus 27. Now, how do we write that as one of these expressions here? Because once again, we do have a D, none of these. Okay? So this is what we're doing here. Let's go back to the unknowns that we have here. We've got this G. I'm adding 27, and then that should equal this M over here, okay? And that looks like, even though they put the M on the other side, that's looking like I've got this B right here. So I think it's B, but let's just verify it's not A or C, and we'll, we'll make sure that B works, okay? So let's look at A, M equals 10G. Okay, that's what we did right here. M equals 10G. So this works for the first one, right? So this M is 30. 10, and then the G equals 3. That's multiplication. That works. But it doesn't work on, like, this last one, right? M equals 10G, so my M would be 37 equals 10 times 10. Yeah, see, it breaks down. So we know that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Let's look at this 3G right there. So M equals 3G. So that didn't even work on the first one, right? This M is 30. 3, and then the G is, yeah, 3 times 3. So that doesn't work either. But let's just make sure that this, the one that I think works, because they have the M in the different spot, G plus 27. Let's make sure it works, right? So this M is 30 equals, my G is 3 plus 27, yes. 32 equals 5 plus 27, yes, I'm just substituting in my M and my G. And then I've got this 36 equals 9 plus 27, yes. And then 37 equals 10 plus 27. Okay, yep. So even if you have the M on the left side, it doesn't really matter. My answer here is B.